Here with me is uh, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois. Shout out to our WCPT listeners. Uh, Congresswoman, nice to have you Thank here. You. Uh, obviously, you served on the uh, uh, Erskine Bowles uh, Senator Simpson uh, Committee, Bowles Simpson Committee, and Ryan likes to have it both ways. Uh, it's unreal. Um, criticizes the president, doesn't talk about the fact that he voted against the, uh, the legislation. Your thoughts on what Mr. Ryan had to say and the unbelievable hypocrisy. I was actually shocked that he would even bring it up. It's like, don't talk about it, Paul, because not only did he vote against the uh, Simpson Bulls, uh, the proposal of the chairman, it didn't pass, and uh, Paul Ryan voted against it, and more than that, he was able to get the other two uh, House Republicans to, to vote against it as well. And the reason is because it had some tax increases that would hit wealthier Americans. Um, and that is a uh, off the table as far as Paul Ryan is concerned. So he had no interest in that. And then to turn around and say that the, uh, the president failed to embrace it. Well, what about you, Paul? What's your balance plan? I mean, his balance plan is to take from seniors on Medicare and give it to the wealthiest Americans. Take away food, you know, cut food stamps and the Women, Infant, and Children program and education and give the money to the wealthiest uh, Americans. It's really just shocking. It really is. One of the things that I have been amazed by is this sort of... Uh, these these puppet masters, and I'm talking about the likes of the Koch brothers, just giving Ryan talking points when it comes to Medicare, when it comes to the issue of voting rights. I mean, it, it just seems that there there is no sort of, you know, trying to shade the truth. It's just what? it's just incredibly, you know, here's the money. Now you go out and benefit the one percent. Except that, don't think of of. Paul, them as puppet masters and Paul. Paul Ryan really is the drafter of many of these ideas. I mean, he is uh, in some ways kind of a, a smart guy, but not smart in terms of how to help the middle class or really to get the economy going again. But a lot of the proposals that now have been adopted, the most radical proposals by the mainstream of the Republican Party, you see it in the platform, and also in the legislation that's been proposed, some of it passed by the House, like the Ryan budget, he's the author. So he has to take credit, if you will, a responsibility for ending Medicare as we, we know it, for giving all the tax cuts to the the wealthiest Americans. And by the way, now he, he gave reference to the last administration and the deficit that they caused. He voted for all that. He voted for all of that. He goes after the stimulus program, which un indisputably created about 3.5 million jobs. He wrote letters asking for money for his district from the stimulus program. It, you know, the, the, so it's it's not only the lies, it's the hypocrisy and the fact that he is the guy who wrote many of these plans. Now, you know, one of the things that's going to be interesting tonight as we, you know, preview the Romney speech is this idea that he is going to try to humanize himself. This is, again, the whole thing with this party. They try to sort of reinvent themselves, this echo sketch moment. And I just think that the American people can see through uh, this sort of, you know, phony baloney that is going on over the last 24 hours. Your thoughts on this? Cause well, first of all, you would have thought that some of the former aspirants or uh, for vice president or um, leading Republicans would themselves have tried to humanize the their nomin their nominee the now their 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 uh, you know who they support for president Mitt Romney. Instead, they talked about themselves, and then kind of at the end of the speech, they would throw a bone to Mitt Romney and talk about how he saved the Olympics and then tell some lies about what he did in Massachusetts, which was really a pretty bad record. Oh, Very bad. Yeah, 40, 47th, actually. Don't exaggerate now in job creation in the, in the country. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if Mitt Romney actually can um, humanize him himself. Um, but what does that mean at the end of the day? I mean, policies, where he wants to go, that's what really matters. I mean, that's the thing about Paul Ryan. He's a pretty personable guy. His, I thought his speech in terms of the effectiveness of a speech was pretty effective. Sure. Why, but so the American people have to be able to see through that 
and look at the record. And that's why I am dying for journalists, for independent fact checkers. Not just he said, she said, but look at what is being said and judge it for its veracity because I think they will find any independent, truly independent fact checker will find that they are telling us, us lies. And let me just say, Barack Obama is much more likable. Likeability, <laughs> yeah, yeah, likeability no does uh, he count. He would never say to uh, a woman, "Where'd you get these cookies from 7-Eleven?" Um, he would never go go to a cheesesteak to a Wawa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so uh, I, I think that on likability, we are uh, on, in the winning column, but also about the direction of this country, the soul of this country, the middle class in this country. You know, there's no comparison as far as I, I'm concerned, and I hope that the American people are going to see the distinction, particularly when we get to Charlotte and talk about our program. We're talking with uh, Jan Schakowsky here at the uh, Romney Economics Wrong for the Middle Class, the uh, daily uh, DNC response to the Republican National Conference uh, convention. I'm, I'm interested uh, in, in as we look at, at these next uh, a couple of days and the transition to Charlotte, uh, it would seem to me that uh, the Republican Party is going to try once again and try to call Obama everything from a communist to a socialist to a Hitlerite and everything else. But is it now very very difficult for them to do that because they're trying to be positive about their own candidate and that mixed message. What do you think about what Actually, their problem is? I have to tell you, I have not heard a lot of positive about their candidate. This convention which I thought would be more right. about that, actually has 90% been about bashing Barack Obama and that the reason to vote for Mitt Romney is because you don't want Barack Obama as opposed to real concrete proposals that ordinary people can relate to. There's been a lot of rhetoric about that, but very little on the, on the, on the proposals. Look, this is a party that has been engaged in daily sabotage against anything that would have made our economy better. They were not only betting against the economy, hoping for bad job numbers, but working in that direction to try and make sure that we couldn't turn things around. Despite that, 4.5 million jobs created, 29 months straight of private sector job creation. Um, but I really haven't heard, how, what are they going to do to make Sorry, things better? They have no plan. So I'm not sure about the positive. I think they're going to continue that their path to election is all about negative and bashing what, what is and being and lying about it. And, and lastly, the infrastructure fight, which the Democrats have been all over, you have been all over with your plan. Um, you hear nothing of this from the Republican ticket. You hear nothing about the idea of, of alternative energy and wind and solar. You hear nothing about the concepts of... Uh, uh, high-speed rail, none of this. It's all in the Democratic call. How do you move forward? You know, and that's where people like the Koch brothers, who are the energy people, right. um, come in. It is all about um, oil and gas. And by the way, oil um, production is at an all-time high exactly. in the United States under Barack Obama. It's a question, is it really about all of the above? And for them, it is not. And I think that does have a lot to do with their, with their contributors. Um, so, uh, look, our job is simply, I believe, to tell the truth, to get the facts out there, to clear away the fog that they're trying to create at this convention, and I'm sure beyond to tell the truth about the Obama record. I'm going to be talking a lot to women, um, and not just about women's health care, women's reproductive rights, but also about economics for women, about the fact that they don't even support in 2012 equal pay for equal work. It's astonishing. So taking us back to uh, not it even, well. yeah, I was going to say <laughs> not even to the last administration, but decades, maybe a century ago. Unreal. Congresswoman, always great Thank seeing you. you. Thank you so Thank very you. much. I appreciate it. We'll be back after this.